Georgia, well played. We'll come on to your performance in a second, but after what happened here against the Diamonds a couple of weeks back, this was me a satisfying win. Yeah, definitely. They're a good side, and I think knowing what we needed to do today um, to have the best chance of, of getting to the final was really important, and that was really in my mind while I was out there. Um, I think chasing under pressure as well was really pleasing, and it's nice to be able to have one over on them should we need to play them next week. And in terms of the pumputations of this game how much of an eye were you keeping on the game going up on up for <laughs> not really any at all to be honest um I, i'd kind of just forgotten about the bonus point system and I, we got to 40 overs i thought oh no there goes the bonus point but just focused on winning it i knew that um you know that's what we had to do in the position that we were in and it's just really pleasing to be able to be there at the end and get us over the line they had a slow start with the bat and then they picked up towards the middle and towards the end. What were your thoughts at half-time, 2-5-6 on the board? Yeah, probably a little bit too many. Um, I thought we bowled really well up front and, and in patches and then gave them too many runs at times as well and that's something we'll know we need to tighten up on. But um, 250, I, I was comf confident that we could chase it down as long as we, we batted well and we had partnerships. And I think um, sometimes when you're in a chase... I don't like looking at the scoreboard I like to just bat and that was what I was trying to do today um, and I was very grateful that everybody who came in around me was, was really positive and really helped me out And you've been put under pressure a few times in the last week or so and what's so impressive is not only scoring runs taking wickets bowling well but doing it at the time where it really matters how satisfying is that to do it when you've just taken your team over the line twice in two weeks yeah no it really is um i love playing for these girls and i feel like i've owed them a fair few runs and wickets this season so it's nice to be able to contribute and obviously coming into crunch time it's nice to be in some form but um we know come next saturday it's, it, we start again and, and we have to go again but really pleasing that we're there and we can put our feet up on wednesday and just keep an eye on the other game how much of an eye will you be keeping on the other game? How much will you be learning? Because you know the Diamonds pretty well now, but the Sparks not so well. You haven't played them as much as you have the Diamonds the last year or so. Yeah, um, I think we will keep an eye on it. We won't, be, we won't obsess over it. I think we've got training ourselves on Wednesday, so we'll go through our processes and um, stick to what we do well. And then come Saturday, we'll, we'll have done the analysis and done the stats and stuff like that, so we'll be ready. And how much will that day at Edgbaston last year, where you got over the line, how much of a part will that play next week? Uh, I mean, we're desperate to defend the title, um, but we know that being in the final is not enough and, and it's another game and we've got to start again. So there's, the, I suppose, the added motivation for us to, to bring the trophy home again, but we know that it's, it's going to be a difficult game, whoever we come up against.